In this video, I want to talk about the effect that concentration has on a chemical equilibrium. We know that in a chemical equilibrium, there are both products and reactants. So we can shift an equilibrium by changing the concentrations of the products or reactants, either by adding or removing them. So let's say that we want to add more of a reactant. What will happen is that once we add it, there will be a quick and initial increase in the concentration of that reactant. And then very shortly after, the concentration of that reactant will decrease because it will begin reacting with the other reactant. And after this happens, a new equilibrium state will be established. And what this means is that the forward and reverse rates may not be the same as the initial equilibrium. And this is because the product, the concentrations of the products or reactants will have changed, therefore changing the rate. So let's look at an example. So we have this system that's in equilibrium. And we want to know what will happen if these various stresses are placed on the equilibrium. The first one is that we're changing the concentration of the product by removing it. So if, you have a, if you're having a little bit of difficulty seeing this, especially if you're just starting off, this may help you, what I'm going to show right now. If we remove this species, if we want to, if we remove some of it, what I drew, what I do is I draw an arrow like this, showing that it's being removed. And in whatever direction this arrow is pointing, that is the direction that the equilibrium will shift. So ammonia is being removed. Therefore, we can say that the equilibrium will shift right. Now, the second part asks what would happen if nitrogen gas was removed. So, we're removing a reactant. And you can do the exact same thing. Draw an arrow in this direction to signify that nitrogen gas is being removed. And this arrow is pointing left. So we can say that the equilibrium will shift left. However, it's, it, it is important to understand the theoretical aspects behind this. And it's quite simple once you, once you practice it. Basically, theoretically, if we remove some of this product, we know that the system wants to stay in equilibrium. So in order to maintain an equilibrium, in order to maintain the, the production of the product, the reactants will react to create more products that were lost. Now, let's say that we added hydrogen gas.
what would happen? Well, you can think of it like this. We're adding more hydrogen. And this arrow is looks like it's pointing to the right. So more than it is to the left. So we can say that the that if we add more hydrogen gas, the the equilibrium will shift to the right. And theoretically, this is because we have an excess amount of hydrogen and the reaction wants to consume it in order to maintain an equilibrium. So that's why the reaction or that's why the equilibrium will shift to the right. I'm going to do some more examples relating to these types of problems in a separate video.